What's up guys? I'm back. Oh boys! I'm back! Hey, it's Jeffrey Lin. I know I haven't made a video since end of April 2020, so there's a lot to catch you guys up on, but uh, it's all great stuff. I've been doing really well, which is why I didn't have a lot of things to complain about and make updates about. Um, and I've had a lot of uh, different projects and investments I've been working on. And I even took some flying lessons and gone into archery. So we'll get into all that uh, with a quick uh, life update during COVID. Hey, what's up? It's Jeffrey Lin. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my battle with multiple severe chronic illnesses, including uh, probably one of the most severe eczema conditions, uh, asthma and allergies combined. This video is just gonna be a recap of how I've gone through the last year of being in COVID lockdown. So I'll talk about uh, my injections and my treatments and how those are going. And then I'll also talk about um, the work that I do. A lot of people ask me what I do for work. And finally, I talk about some of the exciting uh, fun stuff, activities I've gone into, including uh, flying and archery. As bad as 2020 was with COVID and all the lockdowns, uh, for me personally, my health continued to get better month by month and still got to attribute most of the improvements to uh, Dupixent, which is the shot that I get the most question about. It's the injection that um, for a lot of people completely heals uh, really severe eczema um, is it, also a good treatment for asthma and allergies. And so most people look at the initial benefits of Dupix and clearing up the skin within, you know, days or, you know, maybe a week. And for me, I was really excited about that as well when that happened to me and I uh, just saw a nice uh, baby smooth skin uh, start to show up after peeling off a couple layers of damaged skin. But as I've been on Dupixin for uh, you know, over three years, uh, the improvements continue to show up. It's a deep immune transformation. It, uh, it doesn't suppress your immune system as much as it just kind of uh, resets it so that it's working correctly. It doesn't suppress it so that uh, your immune isn't working um, and it doesn't uh, make your immune system overreact to anything. So uh, slowly and surely, the, even the inflammations in my joints and in my digestive system um, and obviously my lungs, so my asthma got a little bit better. All those things continue uh, to kind of feed on itself and get better and better uh, throughout 2020 as I've uh, gone this uh, longer term therapeutic uh, effect from Dupixent. The other thing that's worked really well for me is uh, using low dose naltrexone. And I know I keep on saying I'm gonna make a video about it and I really will. Um, but low dose naltrexone in short is uh, just using a very low dose of um, the medication naltrexone. Uh, usually naltrexone is used for people with opioid addictions, but use that at a very, very low dose between like half a milligram and five milligrams. Um, it's actually very safe and it just stimulates your body to uh, release your natural endorphins. So uh, you get the same benefits as if you were exercising or eating uh, something sweet and, and you know this so this kind of stuff um, when you get a, a endorphin boost your body naturally uh, reduces inflammation your immune gets stronger and it boosts your mood so I was uh, really depressed with uh, the cyclosporin medication the immunosuppressants that I take and I still take that um, so I just didn't have the motivation or the uh, the positivity to do much. And so now Trexone really helped with that. Now Trexone also uh, reduced a lot of the inflammation um, even more uh, on top of what Dupixin was already doing. So 
um, I was finally able to exercise because I used to get these tendonitis uh, inflammations whenever I would just move around a little bit. And most of all, uh, now Trexone has helped reduce the inflammation in my gut. So I'm able to eat a lot more foods. I've, uh, as most of you know, I'm literally allergic to everything on the planet. So for those of you that are telling me to, you know, why don't you try this diet or that diet? I, I literally can't because I'm allergic to every single thing on the planet. Uh, I couldn't even touch water for about 10 years. So the standard diets don't work. But after taking um, Dupixin and then now naltrexone, uh, low dose naltrexone, reducing um, my gut inflammation, and um, I'm able to tolerate a lot more foods uh, very well. So that's one, one of the joys of 2020 is I've been uh, eating a lot more of uh, variety and even just eating a lot more in general. Um, and for most of you probably wouldn't think the things that I'm eating are all that special, but for someone that literally is allergic to everything that has, has been on such a strict, strict diet of for several years, just being on, um, you know, something sort of like a protein shake, it's called amino acid, um, prescription drinks like, uh, Elocare. Uh, so just going from that to being able to eat all the foods I'm eating now, I'm just so happy and enjoying life a lot more. So, uh, in 2020, I learned to cook a little bit, learned to bake a little bit. And so here are the things that uh, I've been able to eat now, rice, chicken, quinoa, soy sauce, curry powder, guava, Asian pear, apple, grapes, broccoli, turmeric, cumin, bok choy, and a little bit of ketchup. Ketchup and rice, if I eat, eat it too many times during a the week, then I'll start getting a flare up. And more importantly, my reactions now are mostly uh, they show up as a asthma and uh, breathing tightness. But other than that, uh, look at this list of foods that I just listed. These are all foods that I couldn't eat uh, before. Uh, and these are things I just started trialing in 2020. And, you know, I, I would eat a little bit of uh, rice and seemed okay, so I'll eat a little bit more. And then I started adding chicken and soy sauce and curry powder. And suddenly you have, uh, you know, like, 15, 20 extra things that I can eat now that I won't react to and flare up from. The other health improvement I'm working a lot on is exercise. As a kid, I've always had these inflammations and uh, with the joints, I couldn't move a lot. And even when I did, asthma would immediately hit me. And so even laughing as a kid would give me an asthma attack. So just had to learn to control that and not be overly active. So, I mean, I did play some basketball uh, as a kid and uh, did some other activities, but for all intents and purposes, I haven't been uh, very physically active. And given all the medications and things I'm taking and just uh, having you know, health problems, I need to try to stay ahead of that and do exercises when I can. So uh, in 2020, uh, you know, I started doing a lot more treadmill. I started doing some treadmill in you know, 2018, 2019, getting ready for some of my Europe trips um, where that involves a lot of walking, but kind of pushed that more. So uh, in 2020, kind of pushed my treadmill time up to an hour and a half to two hours. Also doing several push-ups a day, uh, sit-ups and planking. Also picked up archery, it's something I had uh, tried a couple times and taken a couple classes several years ago and lo and behold I still remember kind of how to do it and the last thing I'm doing now is just bought a bicycle and so uh, using that to just kind of go outside uh, during quarantine uh, that's a good solo sport uh, that's kind of how I'm staying active and kind of trying to keep my mood up and uh, just try to condition my body uh, to be able to handle all these uh, treatment and whatever future treatments are to come. I need to um, do the healthy stuff whenever I can because, uh, you know, I can't always do that. I don't always feel well enough to do that. 
But right now, um, I'm lucky enough that I've healed enough to do these things. So I'm just trying to make myself uh, do these uh, exercises and uh, stay healthy as much as possible. Uh, that's a wrap for now. I will come up with other video ideas to share with you about dealing with uh, the pandemic and kind of uh, living in isolation and what you can do. So uh, remember to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. My handle is at JeffreyLynnLA, and I'll see you guys soon.